Hello everyone, welcome back to Higher Mathematics, happy to see you here. Really interesting problem today, we need to simplify this expression, we have square root, we have a subtraction, we have square root of 25 minus square root of 24, and we need to find our answer. And of course, I, I want to say thank you for everyone who write any comments, who put, some, put your likes on, on my video, I really appreciate it, and it helps me a lot to make a new content, and it inspires me a lot. So if you enjoy my content, I really appreciate it if you put likes and write any comment. Thank you for watching and let's go. Okay, we have this square root sign. How can we simplify this? I want to write a really good trick right here, because we have square root, we have a subtraction, so it's not like x on the right, not we can square both sides, so we can find a trick right here. I want to show you a really good trick, because if we have square root of, a, for example, a minus b square, for example, if we had it in our square root sign. So if we have this exp explanation, we can cancel this square and square root sign, so as a result it will be equal to a minus b, absolute value of a minus b. So as you can see this square root sign and square disappear, so we will have answer without square root sign. But the main thing, we need to create a formula a minus b square, and let's look if it's possible in our case. So if we create from this expression square root of 25 minus square root of 24, a formula with the square, we can easily cancel our square root. So let's do this, we have square root of 25 minus square root of 24, I write it without square root sign. So let's create a formula, let's try with this one, a minus b, a minus b square. This is a classic formula, a square minus 2ab and plus b, b square. And let's look closely to this, to this expression. We have square root of 25 minus square root of 24. We know that square root of 25 equal to 5 minus square root of 24. Let's try to simplify this as, as more as, as possible, of course. What will have as a result? 5 minus, and let's look at this square root of 24. We can easily write this square root of 24 as 4 times 6 at first. Let's start with this one. And if we know a little bit about square root properties, if we have a product, we can find square root of one element times square root of second element. So we have 5 minus square root of 4 times square root of 6, which signals us that right here we have 2, because square root of 4 equal to 2, 5 minus square root of 6 minus 2 square root of 6. Okay, what this answer give us? We have 5 minus 2 square root of 6, I write it in the next row, so this is the maximum that we can simplify right now. But let's use a little bit trick, 5 minus 2 square root of 6. I want to start with this one. Can we write this 6 as 2 times 3 and it simplifies us, is this expression? Of course it simplifies us. We can write this 5 minus 2 square root of 6 as 5 minus 2 times square root of 2 times 3 and use once more this rule. So taking square root from both of these elements. So we have 5 minus 2 square root of 2 times square root of 3. And I want to mention one really interesting thing right here, because under this expression I want to write this formula. a square minus 2ab and plus b square. I want to mention that right here we have 2 and right here we have 2. And if you look closely to this, we can write this 5 as 2 plus 3. Let's do this. I want to write this 5 as 2 plus 3. So this 5 I write right here as 2. I write this expression minus 2 square root of 2 times square root of 3 and in the end plus 3. So if we add it, we will have the same as right here. But I want to overwrite this formula. I just want you to see that right here we have the something looks like our formula. We have 2, we have 2, we have square root of 2, right here we have 2. So it looks like the same, but not the same. And after this step, I want to write a really, really good trick. Because we I can write this 2 as square root of 2 square. If we write this, we will have the same 2. But I want to show you a really good trick minus 2 square root of 2 times square root of 3, and I want to write with this one, with this 3 is the same case, square root of 3 square. And if you look closely to this, finally, as you can see, we have this is equal to a, we have a square minus 2 times a times b and plus b square, or right here, square, of course, square. So this is our formula, but how this formula looks like? Its formula looks like square root of 2 minus square root of 3 all squared. So finally we find our formula to this case. And the last step, we need to put this formula instead of this expression. So we have square root of 
square root of 2 minus square root of 3 squared. And as you can see right here, as I write it, we can cancel our square root sign with this square sign. So this will be equal to absolute value square root of 2 square root of 3 minus square root of 3. And a lot of students don't put this absolute value because they cancel and they write it square root of 2 as square root of 3. But this is really important. And in our case, I want to show you why this is really important. Because we have square root of 2 minus square root of 3, but square root of 3 is greater than square root of 2. So this value, absolute value, we have a negative sign. So we need to put a minus be be between the, behind this. We have square root of 2 minus square root of 3. And this minus change rearrange these elements we will have square root of 3 minus square root of 2. And this is our, our answer. Not square root of 2 minus square root of 3, but square root of 3 minus square root of 2. So I write this answer right here. We have square root of 3 minus square root of 2. This is our, this is our answer. I hope you understand this explanation. If you don't understand, write a question, comment. I try to answer to everyone. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, I really appreciate if you Put likes, write any comment, doesn't matter the theme of your comment. I really appreciate every comment. And thank you so much for watching. See you in the next videos.